Come on, lady. <laughs> Yeah, it is Laos. You're only here once. Get in. You're only up to your waist. Why are you, where are you going? Down waist? I'm only up to my waist. <laughs> oh, it's sunny. That's lovely. morning so today is a very special day we are hopping on the tourist trail and we are going to Luang Prabang area's most famous waterfall called Huang Si or Sai and it is a beautiful series of falls that um, are hidden deep in the jungle and we're gonna go see if it's not too cold to take a dip <laughs> This is now the third time that we've gone to see this lady. She makes really good food and smoothies, and she's always delighted to see us. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want today, Amy? We got a mango pineapple banana shake for Brayden, a mango passion fruit shake for myself, and we each got a Nutella banana shake. And I think we spent four dollars. And we have free music. So prices for this trip are pretty standard around the city. We've seen a lot of uh, 40,000 kit per person, but um, our hotel was actually pretty cool. They gave us one ticket for free, but then the other ticket was 50,000, so we ended up saving mm -hmm. 30,000 kit. We'll take it. <laughs> All right, I think it's like a 40 minute? 35 kilometer ride out of the town. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Lao time. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we pay ancient free twenty thousand per person. Ah, you Alright, that was bumpy, but we made it. <laughs> Hello, hi. <laughs> On the way up to the falls, there is a conservation area um, for sun bears and other Asiatic bears. He's moving.
wait, are they not sun bears? Calm. That sign back there said sun and moon. I don't know what a moon bear is. Damn. Look at that guy. That's the life. Uh, I feel you, dude. First sign of the waterfall. Let's go get it. I can hear it. And I can feel the chill. <laughs> She's getting in that water, dang it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the color of it. just keeps getting better as you go up. Every view is amazing, but we are on a mission to get to the very, very top. We read that you might not be allowed to go to the top. But some people make it through. So we're gonna try our luck. Oh my. <laughs> the coolest staircase I've ever seen in my life. While you're in last. Woo! This is it. So there are two ways up the side of the waterfall, and we are now going all the way up the other side to see if we can find the entrance on the left side. And if we don't find it, I'm going back down. Yeah, if we don't find it, there's a swimming hole down at the bottom with everyone else in the world. All right, from what we've seen online, we definitely came up too high. The pool that we wanna be in is like one more layer down. Wow, we really came too high. That's the one we wanna be in. <laughs> All right, there's a rope swing and I want on it. Well, I think the locals caught on and they made the old secret trail to the um, upper pool impassable. So everyone around that we've been um, seeing trying to get over there, they haven't been able to. I think they caught on, which is totally fair. It wasn't allowed in the first place. Okay. And all for our safety, so okay. it's okay. We're gonna go to the pool down the stairs. The mainstream pool. So why is the water blue? The water flows over many limestone rocks on its journey from the spring, over the main falls, and then the stepped travertine cascades. Limestone particles containing high levels of calcium carbonate collected along the way reflect light, making the water appear to us as a stunning turquoise blue color. She's getting in with me. <laughs> Up to my feet. 
Okay, ready? Get in here! You're only in Laos once. Get in the water. That is so cool! <laughs> like, it's Laos, it's hot! Why isn't the water hot? Yeah, it is Laos. You're only here once. Get in. You're only up to your waist. Why are you, where are you going? Down waist? I'm only up to my waist. <laughs> Oh, it's sunny. That's lovely. Pretty dang dreamy. I got to in there about up to my waist. Uh, like belly button. Waist, I said. Okay. Well, I'm a really big wimp when it comes to cold water. I'll admit it, but I did pretty well. <laughs> she should have gone in. <laughs> I'm good. She's gonna regret that until oh, she holy dies. Oh, oh, ah. a bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Well, that was a really fun day. But that car ride back hurt so bad. So I am gonna go get myself a traditional Lao massage. <laughs> it's only 60,000 kip for an hour long traditional body massage, which is like, what? Seven dollars? Seven dollars? Come on. <laughs> All right. Okay. Take your shoes off. Okay, where are you gonna be? Coffee shop right over here. I'll be back in an hour. I'll give you a review in a second. Okay. Okay. Traditional Lao massage review. So much to say. <laughs> One, it I feel good right now. I, I think it was worth it. Um, but it is very similar to a Thai massage, which is based, based on the menu that I was looking at, it made it seem like there would be oil involved. There's absolutely not a drop of oil involved. It is extremely painful, it's like, Especially for someone who has really hairy legs like myself, it just feels like your skin is being ripped. You feel your skin being ripped more than you feel the massage itself. <laughs> Number two, I forget in Asia how up close and personal they get. Um, I definitely had some hands in places that, that I wasn't ready for. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it wasn't a happy ending kind of massage, but it was a little um, up close and personal for my taste. That being said, it was like, with tip, it was like $8. No complaints. <laughs> no complaints, but I don't know. I'm, I'm more of like a Swedish guy. 